What is going on, people? You know, sometimes Satan decides to just grab you by the balls and uh, take you for a spin. So for anybody that does not know me personally, I, for some reason, have a boat curse on me that I can't seem to shake. Four trucks went out earlier this year. Um, truck motor blew up, transmission blew up, and now the oven rood blew up. So we had an issue with an injector um, failing, putting a piston through the number four cylinder. So we're going to part out the oven rood. This is the intro for the motor that I'm going to go with. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is just yet, but in a downturned economy, super expensive gas, no chips anywhere, cars anywhere, anything like that. It took me calling 11 different places to find this motor, even though I already had one on back order. So super excited. Like I said, I'm not going to share with you guys just yet. Uh, we're going to hop in the truck here, make a couple hour drive and uh, and drop off the Ranger, but super pumped to get this repowered. And at this point, the, the deal that I got on the bow is just a crazy steal. So this is just going to be a straight up dream rig um, with a motor with warranty and all the toys and stuff that I put on it. So thanks for checking out the channel. Subscribe up and uh, we'll drop this new motor on here. Let's go. guys it starts raining a little too hard i might jump back in the truck but we are here we're down at twin lakes marine south of bugs island and we are going to go in here talk to tyler blake about the motor that we are getting on the ranger so kind of turned into a gloomy day nice selection blazer here a couple phoenixes but we're gonna go in here and chat about the motor that will be rigged on this bad boy. So again, super excited to try this brand. I have not had this motor before. Um, gonna take them a couple weeks. So we'll go in here and talk financing and all that fun stuff. And uh, then I'll give you guys a rundown in the truck. All right, she's all buttoned up. Not sure if you guys can see her back there or not, but cover's on. Wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. Um, kind of in and out. They said about a two week turnaround. But to give you guys what I got, I am getting a Suzuki 250 uh, SS 20 inch shaft. Feel really good about it. Five years warranty, which is super, super sweet. And uh, they should be done in about two weeks with it. So got a little research to do. I have an allowance for a prop. Um, we're going to take a look and see what I can get uh, availability wise also with uh, kind of what I talked about earlier, but joining Team Suzuki, Nick Bodsford uh, kind of talked me into it a little bit. So a few guys on the elites. I think a lot of guys don't run them just because it's contingency, um, which I'm not really concerned about that with guiding. I want reliability. Obviously switching from a two to a four stroke is, uh, is gonna help me a lot on the oil expense, but uh, yeah, going to Team Suzuki. So wrap up this part of the video, hopefully swing back here in two weeks or so and uh and get back to guiding but that is uh that is where we're at so bye bye evan rude and uh on to that suzuki all right my friends it's been a few weeks but we are out here with the boat suzuki is on we had a little drama this morning um i ordered the matte black and got a gloss motor on the boat um, they are going to problem solve and get the cowling and everything that they need to, but here is a look at the new motor. Super clean. Got a Solus Scorpion 27 on here. Looks awesome. So, super pumped. We'll do a little bit of testing and idling and breaking in, but we're out here on Bugs Island and uh, we will put her in the water. First impression on the, the first start is quiet. So it doesn't have that growl that the Mercury has or uh, kind of that whine, whine that the uh, Evan Rude does, but uh, super, super quiet. So I'm gonna let it idle here for a few minutes. All right, we've been out here for a few hours, uh, just kind of idling around, keeping it below 3000 RPMs. Super impressed with the responsiveness of it. Um, 
I still got to play with prop probably a little bit jack plate for sure and figuring out where I need to be. Um, I think my jack plate's going to probably need to be three inches up um, with the Suzuki uh, just to kind of get up and rolling and have a little bit of little bit of pep in the step but that's stuff that we'll uh that we'll figure out but overall super super happy so far no idea on fuel economy for a couple days i'll probably uh i'll probably add that but as of right now yeah i'm just kind of out cruising around using the garments uh and, and getting her broken in so super happy with the purchase right now and uh we'll get some shots running have been out here for three hours uh, just doing kind of that slow break-in period um, we're gonna load the boat up here off Bugs Island and boogie back home and get to the dogs it's been raining up there so I'm sure one of my puppies has kind of been freaking out all day but um, I'm gonna start it a few times for you so you guys can hear how quiet it is it's definitely not a mercury Yamaha type of start um, like I said, super responsive. My whole shot's getting getting good. I have a 27 Scorpius, Scorpion Solus on here, um, which is what was reckon, recommended to me from a bunch of pros, marinas, shops, all that sort of stuff. I'm still going to try a different prop. Um, I might do a four blade just for better hole shot for guiding and uh, maybe try a, maybe a 26 um, Solus and see if I, uh, if I get anything different. I'm not necessarily a top speed guy. I want to be able to more get on whole shot and, uh, up on plane quick with guide clients. So start it a few times, take it home, plug it in, charge it for the night. And then I'm going to do more of a break in tomorrow. So I'll do a little bit of filming tomorrow, showing you guys top end and, and what I'm getting with the, um, with the Scorpion 27 on there and, uh, or the Solus 27, uh, and go from there. But uh, again, I have no complaints. Uh, as of now, three hours in, it's been awesome. It's been smooth, like I said, responsive. Um, and yeah, super, super pumped to be, uh, to be team Suzuki. So let's, uh, let's start it up for you guys a few times.
that is it for uh, for my Suzuki video. I was able to get it up to 68.1 miles per hour um, yesterday morning, cooler morning. Um, had the jack plate set what I needed to have it set to trim. Kind of just kind of just playing with that. I have no doubt when we get some colder water um, and some colder air temperatures, I will be able to get it over 70 for sure. I don't know if I'm going to get in that like 74 range, but uh, I think I can definitely get 70, 71, maybe 72. Um, so I'll probably post that in some Ranger forums and, and Ranger Facebook groups and stuff like that. But I am about seven hours, eight hours in on, uh, on the break-in. I have zero complaints whatsoever. Uh, minus kind of the, the color deal that I ran into, but they're going to get that fixed hopefully. Um, and I am Team Suzuki, five years warranty. Um, only took them about four weeks to do the install. I was pretty happy with that uh, as well. So we're going to be out here guiding, uh, guiding with the Suzuki. So if you're out on Smith Mountain, you see a Ranger running around gray, uh, gray, white, and red, and see a Suzuki on it, come say hey. Otherwise, please subscribe to the channel. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and if you have any questions on the Suzuki or, or prop or anything like that, let me know. So thanks for watching the video. See you guys.